How are you? Hope you are all well. My name is Louisa Havers. For those of you that are yet to meet me, I help entrepreneurs and coaches to break through their upper limits in life and business. And I really wanted to dive into this conversation this week. I'm so excited around the standard of client attraction. And we've been talking about this a lot this week. So just wanted to continue our conversation. Would love to know where you're tuning in from if you're catching me live, or of course, if you're catching the replay. If you're catching the replay, use hashtag replay vibes so I can come back and say hello to you and let me know where you are, where you're tuning in from. We did a we did a masterclass that is the, earlier this week called the Extraordinary Coach. I'd love to know, did you did you catch it? What did you think? Um, what we're going to talk about today is really continuing the conversation in relation to that and what I'm sharing is whilst it's geared around coaches of course there's going to be nuggets for for all business owners and one of the things that I find so many entrepreneurs and coaches are holding on to at some point along the way a version of imposter syndrome whether it's bubbling up as feeling unworthy of that next level or not feeling good enough or perhaps even being inconsistent in practicing what they preach so you're telling everybody what is the best best way to do something they're not actually doing it yourself and then that creates a whole load of um incongruence in how you're showing up and a whole load of shame and guilt and all the things and of course that then has a huge impact on well ultimately business revenue because it's having an impact on your confidence does that resonate and because I think and I've just been talking with a with a colleague on her radio show around what we need to do to be able to continue to break through those upper limits and of course we need to continually be doing our own inner work so that ultimately for coaches we are our own best best clients and then as we are leading by example this ultimately actually makes the marketing and sales a whole lot easier because we are a walking testimony of our of our own work and our ideal clients come and find us and we're actually then their most obvious the most obvious choice of them because they see us as a work in progress we're on our own evolution of of self and I truly believe and I know I do as well I feel so much joy as I see my mentors and coaches growing and I see them evolving and I see them leveling up and I see that that next expansion beyond the vision that they held before as they're claiming more of life they've been leading the way for me and showing me what is ultimately possible and often it's more the possibilities beyond what I had originally thought were possible does that make sense does that resonate let me know if that that resonates in in the comments and so for me I think a huge skill to develop is identifying how we're holding ourselves back and really mastering <laughs> staying out of our own way and being able to then be in that space of masterfully highlighting and supporting and uh, working through resistance and helping our clients to be able to, to work through their resistance. They then get to experience you as a phenomenal coach. And as we were talking about in the masterclass, as, a, as an extraordinary coach. And when you're supporting your clients in in mastering the energetics and transforming the resistance they are going to just become your raving fans and are likely to want to continue working with you you know for a longer period of time going on that evolution of journey with you and ultimately referring other people you know people that they love and trust referring them to you as well and I'd love to know your your thoughts on this as we have this conversation because I've seen a a huge shift recently there's a huge desire and awakening right now with more people really wanting to step out of the programming that created their current reality and to be able to have have more of life to have the the wealth the health the relationships realizing that they just need to let go of all the thoughts and emotions and beliefs that got the current reality and the current results that they have and that by changing their perception and their identity they then can change their reality. And so, and they're beginning to recognize that the it's the energetics that is the missing piece. So I believe that coaches are being asked to step up and to become thought leaders, to lead their communities by example, and to, and to be that beacon of light and inspiration, inspiration for others. So for me, when I think about, you know, why a client reaches out to a coach and a mentor to work with them, of course, it's because they want the result. 
that the coach is offering, um, whether it's teaching them how to do something, you know, how they can make 10K in 30 days or how to unlock their resistance or to be mentored by them so that they can have that leadership model and to be able to calibrate to that and to be open to having different types of conversations that they perhaps might not have elsewhere in their life. It's having that space for the guidance along the journey to that to that destination. And so for when I reflect on this, for all business owners, of course, our, our client attraction is just vital so that we can make the impact that we desire with however we're you know showing up and serving with our with our businesses and so that on the other side of it that the souls that have been divinely divinely guided to work with us can actually find us and and get to work with us and there's so much that goes into this of course in terms of the marketing getting our messaging right so that the communication is heard across the ether the magnetism is aligned and whilst we're you know evolving our, our messaging and the evolution of our voice, you know, the messaging that got you to six figures is likely to change and evolve as you grow from six figures to seven figures. You'll know that um, if you've already, as you've gone along that journey. And within that, for me, the key standard that remains the core of client attraction is, is client results. And of course, as part of that, we need to have the right people in our program so that we can ensure that they get the results that they say that they wanted to get. We want self-leaders who take responsibility for their results and aren't trying to hook you into their, you know, into some drama triangle in their in their business. And for me, it comes down to truly mastering the energetics for ourselves and to guide our clients so that they can make aligned decisions to the outcomes that they desire. We were talking about this yesterday in IPC about how we how we how do we know when we are self-sabotaging or having resistance to something in relation to a situation? Um, and in the, in the conversation that we were having is where a client, where something felt like it was aligned and it was in, in relation to a hire that had looked great initially and it started off really great and then it transpired that it wasn't aligned due to a number of things. And so we dived into this in, in, in more depth because I was talking about the, using the helix method and being able to use it to help make aligned decisions and the key is is really understanding the questions and I explained getting the questions right and knowing what questions to ask and I explained that you know personally I've been looking at an investment in my business and I was muscle testing and I was initially getting a no um, that it wasn't in my highest interest to invest in this and I know that that is actually showing me the resistance to what's on the other side of that investment if that makes sense. So I didn't just ask the question and then not do it. I dived into all the things on the other side of that investment that it would give me, give me more visibility, more speaking opportunities, greater impact. It would require more of myself, more of my leadership. Um, There's potentially greater revenue, the responsibility of more money. And I found a whole bunch of hidden resistances and beliefs. And so then I cleared those, identified the beliefs that I was holding that were creating those resistances and the core fears that my subconscious was trying to protect, sorted all of that out and then muscle tested if it was in my highest interest to make that investment for that specific outcome and got a yes. And I share that because being able to do this so that the vibration that you're holding is doing the heavy work for me is absolutely game changing for our clients. It's absolutely game changing as well so that you can be making decisions from that expansive place and not from a contracted place um, and having perhaps asked the wrong questions in the sense of just kind of asked a question on the sur- surface level of your muscle testing, rather really going like three to five layers deep so that you really unlock what's going on in the subconscious and you can get that, um, unlock the result that you desire so you have that exponential success. Does that make sense? As we're having this conversation I'd I'd love to know if you have felt something that was aligned and then for some reason something energetically then changed or perhaps if you've made a decision based on muscle testing and you realize actually it was a contracted decision rather than an expansive decision that would have actually taken you to where you wanted to go decision made from from love does that make sense and your clients um, will find that they can make decisions from a contracted place as well where they might think that they're making them from an expansive place so this is why we need you know we need to help them 
identify their their blind spots to be able to offer a different perspective or you know, a, a lens to to see things through and to be able to help them move beyond the resistance so let's raise the bar in the industry and have a a standard for client attraction and for that standard to be our clients results and for that to be our focus because our energy goes where our attention is our focus is so that that magnetic power of that will will amplify the vibration around your own clients results as well and I think another piece of this um, just to speak to this is you know I've been in so many programs where there have been no client feedback whether that is a survey or a focus group there's so many ways to actually ask clients for contributions to improving what you offer in the spirit of growth and continuous improvement and one of the things we do very simply is a biannual survey so that we hope to get feedback from everyone who's coming through our doors um, at, at some point along their journey and of course some people don't complete the forms and of course many people do so that we can then take all of that info to make our clients journeys better and better so I'd love to know do you do um, client feedback forms, client surveys. How do you take the pulse in relation to the quality of the services that you're offering in your in your in your coaching programs or in your entrepreneurial businesses? Would love to know uh, to see what's working for you and um, what you may be ideas that you might be about to implement. I think for me, the biggest thing that I see when that can hold clients back is that when they aren't working with someone someone somewhere on the energetic side of things and so of course they might be working with you on something specific like let's say parenting and then they have an energy coach or they might be working with you on the business side of things and then they have an energy coach too I think it's absolutely essential so this is where having referral partnerships can really support your clients results so that if you don't offer something as part of your business, and if it's aligned, you might want to add it as a service or to find a referral partner where you can refer people to them and, you know, and vice versa. Does that make sense? So can't wait to, I'll circle back and pick up the conversation in the, in the comments uh, to, see, to see your reflections in relation to this and to continue the conversation. I think for me, the, the, the biggest game changer that I see with our clients is as their identity shifts into their future version of themselves and that they're really, really embody this because you do truly have to teach your body what it feels like to be that future person, then it just becomes inevitable. And that's when our clients' results blow their minds <laughs> and they get so excited because they fully embodied this future version of themselves. So just wanted to, to share, share all of that. And this is something that we are up to with the helix method method manifesting process that i know many of you have experienced uh, through our webinars masterclasses. Um, let me know if you've experienced that working with me or indeed of course in our in our programs um, and one of the questions that i got asked yesterday in ipc was about the power of living in the energy of the question which is just a part of our process and what's happening energetically there and i i call this living in the energy of the question this is where you're asking a question from a parallel reality where you already have this this is already you're already this consciousness so what you're doing is you're asking it from a place of like wow of wow and wonder and curiosity of like how did this how did this happen like this is amazing so it's not like you're trying to consciously answer it you're just asking it and then seeing what drops in and for some people, it comes in straight away. They'll get a hit, an intuitive hit of, you know, a name to call or an idea, some action to take. And for others, it will come come in to, you know, during, during the day, perhaps when you're washing up or doing something, uh, you know, very day to day. Um, so, for example, why do my clients have a higher level of transformation so quickly? That, that question is asking it from a place of that, well, they all have it already. And I like to say to my clients, you know, it's a bit like you're handing that question over to the universe on a post-it note so that you're just letting it go. It's like, why do my clients have a higher level of transformation so quickly? And what happens is because you're asking this question from a place of already having it, in this place right now, the question being asked 
actually creates a vacuum because there's a space where it isn't there yet and so the universe will fill it and that makes sense and that's where you get to take the steps over the bridge of synchronicities as I call it of all those opportunities that come your way so that it becomes fully embodied and it is true and you are truly experiencing experiencing all of that I love you know my clients being able to ask this question so living in the energy of the question from the vibration of their future self which is why when we when we teach this we do all the energy work before before we activate that question does that make sense so I would love to hear your reflections on, on this conversation, on the standard of client attraction that you hold in, in, in your business. What, what, is, what is your standard that you're holding in relation to, to client attraction? Would love to hear and uh, to continue this conversation. And for those of you being called to master the energetics, I have an invitation for you. We're welcoming in students for the Helix Method. And as a certified Helix Method mentor, you'll have the most powerful transformational energy techniques in your toolkit and for me I think the most important key to your success as a coach mentor and healer is having having complete confidence to get the, the results that your client wants and being the best at what you do and as a certified helix method mentor you'll be able to create a, a higher level of transformation for yourself and for your clients and this just to say is is an in-depth thorough training that will enable you to confidently be able to remove your clients limiting beliefs energetic blocks resistances so that they have immediate results so if that's you and you want to be a leader in the coaching profession and to be the obvious choice for your clients and you want to be considered then just reach out to me so that we can take it from there and we'll share all the information with you um, during the helix method uh, training you'll it's important to say you will experience your own spiritual activation and transformation that's going to empower you to really become more of yourself and to make you a spiritual powerhouse. So if you want to be part of our growing community of leaders and being a pioneer for the next global shift in consciousness, then then this is for you. Um, so I'm so excited to invite you to reach out because what we're doing is I'm bringing together, it's a select group of leaders, coaches and mentors, and I'll be teaching them how to master the energy healing and alignment and manifesting skills so that their clients can have extraordinary results and the helix method will clear every block to success in a matter of hours that other modalities might take you know years and years to achieve so i'm so excited to to teach this to you and for your clients to experience this as well they will naturally stay with you for longer as you go along this journey You'll also receive as part of the, the, the certification program, you receive three curriculum for programs on the prosperity codes of self-love and confidence, health and wealth. So you can start working with your clients in this way straight away. These programs will take your client on that arc of transformation and you're able to use them either one to one or in a group setting. So whether that's, you know, three, five, ten clients, that's completely up to you. So you can just you know, spend a few hours a week in client delivery, supporting a larger group of clients, making a bigger impact. Um, and so that is what we are up to. We dive into advanced techniques as well. So you can work really deeply with your clients using our specific Helix method protocols that actually actually work really, really fast. You'll learn how to transform trauma and other emotions that are standing in the way of your client success as well, so that they can achieve their goals with, with more ease. We want to make it easy for them. So ultimately, the program is designed to help you master energetics and reality creation, you know, for, your, for you and for your clients, and you can be able to use this straight away. So if you're feeling the pull and you would like to come and join us and be part of what we're up to and to get extraordinary results for yourself, and for your clients then just reach out and request your invitation you can reach out to me in messenger or at clientcare at louisahavers.com just request your information we'll have a chat in messenger or email explore if it's a fit for you answer any questions if it's a fit we'll pop over the invitation you can then have a read through in your own energy and then just circle back and close the energy loop and let me know you know if you're in out or if you've got a question and we'll take it from there and if you want to jump on a quick call, um, then we've got, you know, 15 minute calls where you can have a quick check in to explore if it's a fit for you or not. And we can take it from there. So just reach out and um, request your invitation and we'll have a chat. And I'm so excited. Cannot wait to see who is being called forward 
and looking forward to going on this magical journey with you. Okie dokie, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you so much love and I will speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.